Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem wrap-up, or as I keep forgetting to fix in the spell check, Mom J. Mayberm. Uh, I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, not using spell check this evening, in Pittsburgh, PA. And with me from Bacon, New York, he's the only Mayhemer with a future Endeavor letter from the WWE, Mad Mike. <laughs> hey, Sorgy! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, Sorg, do you know what today's secret word is? I don't know. Today's secret word is Baron. Every time we say Baron, we scream. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, a lot of people aren't sleeping tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll touch on the happy-go-lucky there in a little bit. But you know I like to start with the positive, Mike, right? Yeah, so we're definitely not going to be talking about Baron. Ah! Um, or anything else. Um, but anyways... <laughs> oh jeez. Um I can melt it. I oh uh, I oh uh. anyways, I okay. There was some positive stuff I, this weekend. I, I got I can't the- wait for Cowboy Curtis Axel Sork. No, oh jeez. So I went to Renegade Wrestling Alliance, as we do. I haven't been there since since March. Uh, I got to see our boy Wheels and, uh, and the rest of the crew out there. Burt LeGrand, got to hang out with him. Oh, I almost forgot. I recorded. Uh, we were testing the uh, the commentary equipment, and Rob and I, cameraman Rob and I, recorded a special uh, mini podcast at the commentary table before the show that I think oh. I'm going to put on Mayhem Show Gold um, with guest star Burt LeGrand. Oh, thank you. I need to remember that. Hold on. Hey, Siri, remind me to edit that podcast with Rob tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. There we go. We'll make sure to do that. Uh, (laughs) Quiet, Siri. Anyways, um, there was some upheaval and some stuff going on, uh, but I want to give a shout-out. You know who's cool in wrestling that I I didn't think was going to be that cool in wrestling? You know who I know who it isn't? (laughs) Who who, who isn't it? Baron. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Oh my! Yes, we'll be doing this all show. But no, <laughs> WCW's Lodi. Yeah, I, I would imagine Lodi's pretty cool. Lodi was advocating for like LBGTQ rights back in '98. That was very difficult to do. That is, that, well, that is true too. <laughs> that wasn't the reason, but um, no, no I know. But like, you usually people who have the curve like that are generally pretty generally, filthy. generally pretty swell people. Um, generally pretty all right <laughs> but he's been back for a little bit and there was some stuff and the, and the main booker wasn't there and stuff and, and, and that got split up am- am- amongst a lot of the guys at rwa and i uh, got to see firsthand just a, a positive influence in the in the locker room and again he's one of those guys that's been around for a long time got a little bit of tv time there back in the late 90s with wcw of course um i guess was he there through the end through the end days of that i need to ask him about that we can get an interview with him i think pretty close pretty close right pretty close to it. i th- I I may be misremembering this. I thought he was injured toward the dying days of WCW. That could be too. That, that could be too. See, because I remember when he was with the Flock. And for those who don't know, it, you know, Raven. When Raven went to WCW, he had like a group of guys called the Flock, and uh, 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 Lodi was kind of introduced as like pretty much his sign guy. He was sign guy. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, Lodi. That's basically it. He was he was sign guy Lodi, and and that was his deal. And he get thrown in matches here and there, and kind of fed to the wolves. But later, I think he had some tag teams with. Uh, uh, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny Lane, Lane, and there's some other stuff in there because I'm pretty sure they were in the early days of TNA. Oh, I would believe it. In the Asylum days. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Lenny and Lodi were in the Asylum days of TNA. I got to find out with a better name, but but thank you everybody participating in the chat room. Uh, positive in wrestling for these guys. Uh, Tina Keys, our friend up in the Northwest. Positive in wrestling. I got to witness Chris Wolf's final North American match. I'm not familiar with Chris Wolf. Um, Kr a uh, lone wolf. Mm, you mean I, I can't work it in? I can't work what it. Do in. What do I mean? What do I mean? Twerk? Wait, wait, why are you talking about Baron? Ah! Ah! All right, there we go. And, you know, the beautiful thing is when I do it on this shot, we see you in the background doing it on the on the shot too. Great. <laughs> you should have a secret word every show, Sor. P- pos- last week's last week's secret word was experience. <laughs> <laughs> 
the entire internet was screaming about that one. Matt Carlin's mainstream Matt. Positive thing for me is that my new J- New Japan Pro Wrestling subscription means I have a fresh new show for uh, a new show to watch almost every morning. Oh, is it is it tournament time again? Is that what's happening? No, not yet. I don't think so. Oh, mm. uh, well, maybe Battle of Super Juniors. That could that be. Um, Brandon out in the KC is positive of seeing that CM Punk wearing a mask and getting back into wrestling ring. I don't believe fake, it. Fake news. I, I, fake. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, I, I'm on the fake news. I'm on the um. I'm a I'm a I'm a CM Punk non-believer right now. I guess it just seems so weird and under the mask. It just seems I don't know. Silas Young uh, said that it was actually him, and I oh yeah, the, the have any reason all, to the believe or in wrestling? What's that? It's that- the source of all great truths in wrestling is Silas Young. Yeah. Oh, Chris Wolf is a female wrestler of Shimmer and Stardom fame. Thank you for the context, Alex. Um, yeah. Oh, they're on the road with Antaku. Also, we learned tonight that John Ashba, uh, from John Ashba, Raw has a new woman wrestler named uh, Peyton Bill and Kay. I like it. I like it, too. I like, mm-hmm. You know what? Keep it. Yeah. I love that they merge oh, together. All right. Okay. Now, I know we're probably going to talk about the crowd and how they were pretty much terrible tonight. I was not paying. I unfortunately wasn't paying enough. I was late getting in, Mike. Uh, about a half hour late into RAW, picked up That's a little fine. bit as I was going way back. But you literally missed absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, it was a it was a talking segment with eight people in it. Mm-hmm. Yep. You didn't oh, miss yeah. I saw the end of that. Yeah, that's all. That's all you. I need. saw the end of that, and I saw they were starting the match, and I went and ordered Subway. Mm-hmm. They could have just started the match, and we could have gotten on our way. But um, like. I will say the Iowa crowd. I I heard some iconics. I heard some iconic love. Mm-hmm. Like like when um, Peyton and Billy said the future would be, and they paused. I heard people say iconic. I was very pleased. I was very pleased. That was it. If there's anything that Iowans identify with, it's Australians. Of course, absolutely. And I think I think the Iowa was pissed off when they realized. That Seth Rollins was not wrestling tonight. That is, that's his home state, right? Well, he's gonna be in the dark match, I'm well, sure. Yeah, and I guess they'll probably do more with him than he, they would have on Raw. But man, that is, yeah, he didn't really do much. Nope. Um, we sure didn't. We got a name update. You know who did do a lot though, Sorg? Uh, Baron Corbin. Ah! Oh boy, we got a name update tonight, sir. No, he's still going. He's still losing his mind over there. Yeah, I'm going to call them the war experience from now on. The war experience. And their finisher is going to be the PTSD. Uh, their finisher is the Viking experience now. It's like, did they like, did they write all this out and forget which was which? Like, and they could they should have just called the finisher the the Rohansen. The Rohansen. <laughs> Hansen's row. Hanson's Row sounds like a character on the Firefly Funhouse. <laughs> Ray Warbeard. Oh boy. I and I was, we, well, I was having a, a little bit back and forth with um, our friend Ross uh, uh, Bergman out there, and uh, they, you know been on the show before, and uh, it's just like we can't take away from you know that they you know the experience stuff takes away from the name that their name is now what Ivar and and and, uh, and, and Eric. Eric hashtag not my Eric. Um, <laughs> Row is and Eric, right? Also, hashtag not my Rowan. Yeah, yeah. Um, I with the Row Ray Row is Eric now, right? Am I? Yeah, yeah. Do you think they did that just because Row sounded like Rowan? I don't know. Yeah, because mm. ah. doesn't have a red beard. If anything, no. if any, if either one of those two men should be called Eric, it should be handsome. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. This whole thing confuses me and. Makes me drowsy. Um, I but but still, I I'm so sad because it takes away from the fact that Ray Rowe is on freaking Monday Night Raw, and that's amazing. Yeah. And I got so much pleasure. I like I don't I don't hate on the on the on the house party, on the Lucha I house party. I mean, I, I love all those guys, but there mm-hmm. was something just cathartic about just watching them mow down a bunch of luchadors on Monday night. Well, now that we don't have like random tag teams strewn mm-hmm. together like mac and cheese or something like that mac and cheese like we can actually have the the war experience just dominate everyone mm-hmm. and they like, should and, and they really and should please, like for SummerSlam, 
please give me the Vikings versus the Usos. Please, for the tag titles, make it a thing. Uh, we're getting some more comments pop- popping up in the chat room. Dave Potter says his positive that is that he woke up in time for the wrap up. Hi. Uh, also, Matt. Connors- hey, by the way, uh, Dave. Uh, since you, if you joined us a little late, we have a secret word tonight. That secret word is Baron. <laughs> ah! Missy is only hearing my end of the conversation. I wonder why uh-huh. we're yelling every once in a while. Hi, Bruce and great. Missy. Or maybe we're just waking her up at her death. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, apparently, they're on tour. The Road to Don Taco. Don Taku. Yeah, Road to Don Taku. I need to, fin- I need to finish watching that MSG show. And I need to finish watching Hall of Fame. I still haven't finished the Hall of Fame either. Damn. Damn. Like, I don't I want the last it. thing I've watched from Hall of Fame to be, like, Hulk Hogan. I didn't even get that far yet. Mm. The last thing I thought was Tori. Mm. And it just made me sad. Yes, 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 Missy. I apparently had a stroke when I wrote that up. And I haven't fixed it yet. Uh, I'm the emergency room. Yeah, don't worry. We'll fix the name in post. Nobody out there that sees it not live will will know that this happened. We did this last week. Oh, too. Mom Day Moon is nope. actually a character from Firefly Funhouse. <laughs> Firefly Funhouse. Bray Wyatt is back. The weird toys have a reason. Oh, you you, oh, you were probably right all the whole time that was Bray Wyatt. Oh boy. Oh man. And and and, and I'm and, excited and, about. The two weeks, this is going to be great, and the next five years, it's gonna be shit. <laughs> Did you have fun tonight? Again, this is I know I know you you kind of look you look Tork. you look forward. I I feel too far in your crystal ball and don't enjoy the moment. Did you have fun tonight with Firefly Funhouse? The revelation that, of really? is this real? Am I still smoking from four twenty? What is this? With with that specific segment, yes, I had a lot of fun. Mm. Um. I'm also fantasy booking who do I want in the first Firefly Funhouse match because you know there's going to be a Firefly Funhouse match. <laughs> well, at least we'll be able to see it versus the Haunted House match. Sorg, book it right now. Who do you want in the first Firefly Funhouse match? Our truth Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's on SmackDown, right, but um, I don't care. All right, no. Technically, right, they're showing these on both shows. I'll pick them up for Raw and. <sighs> I don't think we know what show he's on. Fandango. Fandango? Fandango. He comes back? Yeah. I mean, I mean Tyler the Breeze, I wouldn't hate either. No, uh, both of them. It's like it's like they let all the writers from Edge and Christian show write a segment on Raw. No, week. it's like they let Bray Wyatt write his own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would not be surprised. If this was what Matt Hardy was working on when he was a road agent. Mm. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. But what if he did rope in? I, I know we're not going to get Harper because he asked for his release. But what if they did end up roping in like Rowan or something? Or And we haven't seen no, Daniel. I'm, tell, I'm telling you, Cowboy Curtis Axel and Jumbo Dallas. Yes. Mecca like a high, Mecca Heine Bo leave. It's right there, and it yes, is, it he is, is just a floating head. Yeah, he is just could... a floating head. He has no more matches. He comes out with a box on his head, wearing a black onesie, oh, and you just see that face smiling at you, resting on the on the apron as Bray's manager. How confused are any kids under twenty five? Oh my god, I. Sorg, Make imagine imagine if we did Jumbo ja- Jumbo Dallas and Bray Wyatt got one wish per match. Mm. Just, a, just imagine. Like, Jumbo, I wish for a Singapore cane. And then one just dropped from the sky. Wait, is that your Pee Wee Herman? Yes. Huh. Well, no, it's it's my Bray Wyatt doing Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> it's, it's Mad Mike as Bray Wyatt doing Pee Wee Herman. Yes. Okay. I'm glad we qualified that. Um, mm-hmm. From the chat, Tina is uh, saying, uh, Sigh, uh, Jeremy Borsh- Barash has his fingerprints all over that. Wishful thinking. Um, uh, he's doing a lot in NXT. Yeah, UK. I think he's doing that. He's doing UK? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know where he's at. There. reliable he's source. Floating around, floating around doing reliable. things. Man, can we have Mayhem Mania match from two years ago, AOP versus Viking Raiders? I dig it. Although like you know, AOP just disappeared, but yeah. well, Aikum's still injured. Oh, that's right. That's right. 
Um, you can't keep up anymore. Um, is WWE no. is WWE's official roster now certainly bigger than WCW's? Easily. So we didn't even have Lashley or Strowman or EC3 on this show. Hopefully, Bray doesn't touch his willy in a theater. Wow. Wow. He, he you know, we're, we're having a good time, John. Yet, yeah, yet we brought it down. I didn't have to read it, but I'm just kind of receptive to new information right now. Uh, Mac Harlins, I think you're looking for the allure in ROH. No, we're not. No, no one no, is looking for no. that. No. No one is looking for that. Oh, God, you know, uh, guys, I, Mike. Yeah. Mike. Uh-huh. Remember all that time I was I was spending trying to get you to like kind of give Ring, Ring of Honor a chance. Oh yeah, yeah, you did, you did a lot. Yeah, man. You were telling me to buy things and sign up for memberships, and I'm like, no. Um, man. Um, um, forget all that. Yep. Uh, apply it to Impact Wrestling. No, no, no. They still but have me. Here's here's the here's the the, the good thing. And all you need to do. All you need to do is follow them on Twitch. It's a lot less barrier of entry. Or I don't even use Twitch. You don't even use Twitch. It's it's. How do you not? T- okay. Twitch is like everywhere. It's like in the air we breathe. Or the only Twitch I have is when I watch a Raw with two Baron Corbin matches. Ah! What you said too. Double. Ah! No. 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 Not I with me on that. You know. I only said it once. Okay. Okay. By the way, um, sorry, I wrote this on Twitter. Um, no one responded yet, but I'm, I'm gonna throw it out here. <laughs> but I know you will. I'm gonna throw it out here. A proposal for next week on Raw. Okay. Um, a, instead of having two two matches with 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 the Lone Wolf with with the Night Manager at TJ Fridays, mm-hmm. um, can we just replace all of that time with Cesaro versus Ricochet? All of that time. Okay. Like, I want Cesaro to swing Ricochet through an entire commercial break. Mm. I want him to start when the commercial starts, and I want him to slap on the sharpshooter when the commercial ends. Man, I looked up tonight and saw that Cesaro versus uh, Cedric Alexander was happening. Mm -hmm. I was um, like, oh, hello. This is a match I want. Yeah. Yeah. Although I do worry that they're just going to think that Cedric is Apollo. Mm, they're already starting it. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's the impression I get you know, with this presentation on Monday nights. It was just there's just going to be like, like the worst thing is going to be they literally just like, hey, go hang out with um, with um, Titus Apollo. O'Neil. You know, yeah. like yeah. like 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 I f- I feel like. I feel like that's a thing what Raw would do, unfortunately. So. Oh, now they could do the Ali route and put him with Samoa Joe. Mm. They could. Did they? Um, did, and of course, there were some um, uh, mulligans on the shakeup this week. Did you notice? Oh God, no! The, someone was upset that her boyfriend got moved to a different show. Mm. A boyfriend or wife? Oh, yes. boyfriend. Yes. No, boyfriend. And then because the boyfriend had to get moved back, someone someone said, "Oh no, my wife's on a different show. Now I must go there." So I don't remember. I don't remember when we the, could have the... just moved Charlotte to Raw, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so they moved. Yeah, they 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 solidified Black uh, uh, Alistair Black as being on Monday. They had uh, Zelina Vega and, and Andrade moved to Raw. They reversed all that and threw all of them on SmackDown. If you look at the website. Now, the thing I was reading, and again, this is all with a grain of salt, because uh, when we say wrestling news, that should always be with quotation marks, unless you've, like, heard it directly from, like, a video of Corey Graves saying something, or I don't know. Um, Mm -hmm. It's all such a loose term, but but still, you know, the word is, quote, unquote, um, that, uh, you know, Fox wanted more Latino wrestlers and decided to move them back. I don't know. But also with that came like if the, that I think if that was the case, why is Ray still on Raw? <laughs> because that's the guy you want on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Same as it ever was. That's why Ray was always on SmackDown during the UPN era. Like oh, same shit. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we just we just don't notice because he's wearing a mask? I don't know. But I mean, or or a lucha house party, or I mean, like Andrade. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, you know, Raw got in the trade off. They got Cesaro, and they got Samoa Joe. More people from Up Up Down Down. That's right. That's right. Savers the pissed. YouTube channel. Um, what happened to Sheamus? Two things. Two, uh, like, like, it's, neither sorry, it's, a, it's a shameful thing. He's lost his head. Oh, no. A careless man will wind up dead. Does that mean he has a concussion? Where are you is dead? that good like, for concussion? Kind of lines. There's too many lines. Too many lines. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. There okay. we go. You're right there. You're right there. Oh, boy. I'm being sent more promos from trainees that will be de- debuting soon. I cannot. The last one has me very excited. Oh, guys, boy. Guys, IWC. Holy crap. Is um, it Abby the Puppet Witch? Is it what? Is it Abby the Puppet Witch? <laughs> Did you notice that the Puppet Witch's name was Abby? No. So it's either a direct tie into NCIS or a reference to Sister <laughs> Abby. <laughs> I think it might be both. It might be both. I mean, look how she dressed. Um, to, hey, you know what? If Paulie Perrette from NCIS wants to come and guest star on <laughs> WWE as Sister Abigail, like just like Thea Vidal did for Mama Benjamin, I am on board. That would officially be Missy's favorite uh, episode of Monday Night Raw. <laughs> deep cuts, deep CSI cuts over here. Anyways, mm-hmm. NCIS, NCIS, come NCIS, on, NCIS. I'm sorry, there's so many letters. <laughs> Let's. Uh, it's um, yeah. Um, did you see how I spelled tonight's show? <laughs> <laughs> Letters are not good with me tonight. Mom, Dame, Rehm, How do you think the setup's going for Money in the Bank so far? Uh, considering we have one match and no Money in the Bank participants, oh. swell! Oh, yeah. But guess what? Sword, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm not going to watch Money in the Bank. Not live, anyway. Yeah, we know. Okay. You know why? Why? Sorg, Money in the Bank is the same night as the series finale. No! Way to go, no. WWE. Nobody's going to watch Money yourself. in the Bank. We're Oh, man. Oh, Y'all man. Jeez. I so, thought... Sorg, Sorg, how about this? How about, how about you and me? We do a live watch of Money in the Bank at precisely... 10 30 on that sunday night <laughs> when game of thrones ends I like, I, I, I and we can cry because everyone is dead in game of thrones except samuel tarley because a fat man finally won something on a tv show and then we can watch money in the bank where it's baron goddamn corbin ah! winning, exactly winning the money in the bank again oh boy i really wish like I, I really wish we could go to buffalo wild wings and watch that with with bobby or actually, watch it's that with you. Game of Thrones or Money in the Bank? No, no, Money in the Bank, you both. Uh, you, it'll be awkward <laughs> to watch Game of Thrones at a Buffalo Wild Wings, though. I think it'd be amazing. <laughs> it would probably be amazing, but just, I mean. God, could you imagine watching that in a Buffalo Wild Wings? That'd just, be fucking awesome. I, Everyone would be crying, but their fingers would be stained with buffalo sauce, so we'd all be crying harder because of burning, and then we'd be, be like, screen. Whenever there's whenever there's like a sex scene, would there just be like cheering or awkward silence? Yes. Ah, half half and half sort. Depends on who's how far into their beer, and um, depends on how many people are googling how old Maisie Williams is. Mm. Oh yeah, there was a little she's bit of it's like wait, she, by the way, it's all good. It's all not, good. Bro. She's what? She's twenty two by the way. She's twenty two. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. What's what? You know, that was a point of Game of Thrones where you're just like. How long has this show been on? Wait a minute. It's been on a while. Yeah. <laughs> the show's been on a while. She was definitely a child. And she was a child. She, she is not now. Baby. And that's she is not now, and it is all good. Jeez. She's a grown ass woman that makes her own damn choices. That's right. That is right. Uh, uh welcome to uh Monday Game of Thrones cast. God, why don't we do that? Um, we should. We really should. <laughs> yes, we should. I mean, Hell, when Raw sucks, I'll change this to a Game of Thrones. Sor- oh, no, Sorg. 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 We'll just combine them. We'll talk about everyone on Raw as if they're Game of Thrones characters. Oh, we've done something like this before. We already have Wardens of the North, the Viking Raiders. <laughs> 
is 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 uh the lady of Winterfell, and, Sarah Logan, was not on Raw tonight. Is Warbeard so 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 big because he sucked on suckled on the teat of a giant for six months? Yeah, Andre the Giant. Andre. <laughs> I did it! I no! did it! I did it! I brought it! I brought oh, it all the way around, geez. all the way around. And you know, he said, "Sorg, do you know? Oh. Do you want to know what he said?" Hmm. I what he want a peanut? <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. Uh huh. Oh, oh I, we man! Can't, we can't follow oh, that up. Sorg, I mean, we have to wrap Sorg, it, right? do you want to talk about the Manus, the mother of belts? The mother, mother of championships. Of the oh. Mother of championships. It's great. She's only got <laughs> two now. It even works. I feel bad. There's I... a third one held by an ice queen in NXT. <laughs> this is all canon. I feel so bad. Mainstream mess in the chat saying this podcast has moved out of my knowledge base. <laughs> Matt, get your shit together. You're in the mainstream. That's right. There's nothing more mainstream than wondering if Maisie Williams is of age yet. <laughs> it's dun, 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 dun. In fact, that should be the new theme for Raw. It is this like, generation. It start off like the old one in 1993. It is It is this generation's um, checking on, the, Googling the age of the Olsen twins, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Raw and Game of Thrones basically have the same number of characters. Let's bring this around. Rude stash <laughs> is almost Magnum TA status. Where no, did he no, get that stash from, no, man? Um, excuse me. He's just Rick Rude now. Yes, he is. He's just Rick Rude now. It's like, like somebody. Who... I all right. Bold prediction. Bold prediction. Are you ready, Sorg? Are you ready for this? It's the bold prediction. I'm we saying bring it back. Now. To, we bring back Jake Roberts, and he has like a, a moment with him. I'm 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 close to that. Close to that, by the Royal Rumble, mm -hmm. Robert Roode will be feuding with AJ Styles and will have Wendy airbrushed on his tights. Oh, jeez. Yep. Oh, jeez. Bold prediction. Bold prediction. Can we just go ahead with that era where AJ Styles was Ric Flair along with it? Yes. Just <laughs> bold prediction. Prediction. Maybe they have a raw throwback night, and that's just what we do. Well, I mean, they're already having a TNA throwback night. Oh man, do we Robert do this? Rude. Do we do this? Are we gonna show? do bring back fortune? Yo, didn't they? Even, <laughs> didn't they, they even used the four, didn't they? they? Well, Ric Flair was in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fortune. F O U R. Oh, T -U -N -E. here we go. Tina's got this. I'm waiting for Stokely Hathaway to be the uh, Bobby Heenan, yes! and Robert Roode's. Robert Roode's Rick Roode. Or, fuck, make Eric Young a manager again. Make him shave his beard. Might as well. Might as make well. Hey, randomly, I was looking for another Larry Sweeney match that somebody wanted me to get, and I, I completely grabbed the wrong file. And I ended up with a Larry Sweeney versus Eric Young match from IWC. Excellent. This is back when Eric Young was afraid of Pyro. Of course. Yeah. Like, One could argue he still is. He's never had Pyro in WWE. That is true. We have not proven or disproven this fact. Maybe that's why he wasn't at WrestleMania, because he's scared of Pyro. Mm -hmm. You ever think of that? I'll be it hanging totally out on Worlds crap. Collide, baby. By the way, it's I did totally watch crap. a little bit of... Uh, no, I did, I watched the entirety, because Worlds Collide is only like an hour, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I, it, was, it was good to see Luke Harper. I did know, you watch the women's one yet? Oh, there's a separate women's one? There should be, yeah. Oh, I didn't. Apparently, I haven't. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's out yet. If there is the Candice LeRae versus Kaylee Ray match, you need to watch it. Mm. It's very good. It's muy, it's muy bueno. And I watched most of the Shield thing last night. I I saw zero of it. Okay, I mean, well, well, because I was watching. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, I didn't watch that Shield thing last night. What the hell was I doing? Oh, By the yeah. way, oh yeah, Seth Rollins. Jones is totally Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. he's in he's in charge, but he knows he's nothing. The, hey, although he's the Kingslayer too, so is that some exactly? No, no, no. But he's, oh, oh, the, the Kingslayer is like yeah. He might be Tyrion Lannister then. Um, Who's Tyrion? Oh, oh, that's an excellent query. Drake Maverick. Who be, yeah, <laughs> Leo Rush. Ah. Uh, I, 
mean, I, okay, all right. Oh, wait, who drinks we and knows the Oh, oh he, the Fox. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bomb. I don't Bomb. Know why. Throwing bombs just, everywhere. Just in visual, I just connected um Bobby <laughs> Lashley and um and uh Leo Rush with the uh with the unsullied. Yep. Unsullied? Is that the right term? Yes, yes, yeah. I, I I think you're right there. Oh jeez. I, I am think so you're right sorry there. for people that have no idea what the fuck. Oh Game of man, is we out get there. Leo Rush and um Alicia Fox together from Alessandra. Melisandre could be like the caretaker of of the Manus's titles. Like it'd be great. Oh boy. This, this is we're going deep. Oh and boy. yes, Alex, Braun is the mountain, obviously. I, I think that's Oh yeah, Braun's definitely the mountain. Oh yeah. And th- and this is why you should have moved Charlotte to Raw, because she could have been Cersei. Charlotte Lannister. It basically fits. Yeah. I was just, yeah, she's the it basically the fits already. and everything, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Probably mm. fuck your brother. I'm kidding. That's a joke. Yes. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a bad joke. That's, a, that's a bad joke. That's bo- bo- that bo- brother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> also a joke. Have also. you been watching Vice? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I okay. I have not. There was a really it. funny stepsister thing happening in there. Um, but anyways, that's that's two deep HBO cuts. Yeah. Um, let's get back to basic cable. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't have anything else for you, man. Oh, um, hope it's Laura Sullivan. Other huh? than Becky Lynch is a wildling. Obviously, <laughs> yes. No, she's not a wildling. She's she's the manis, okay. mother of championships. Oh, okay. Right. Oh no! Fuck! You know who Cersei is? Hmm. Fucking um, racist woman, <laughs> Lacey Evans. I told you, let's not refer to that here on the show. Okay, but... I'm sorry, but Lacey Evans, okay. she's ther- she's totally Cersei Lannister. And this one, there's a, and, she, and you know she probably did fuck her brother. That's a joke. Mad oh, Mike, what joke. else do you want to say about Raw? It's unoffensive and not has, having to do with a relationship to uh, Game of Thrones. It's only offensive if people take me seriously, which they should not do. Let's be honest. With that. Do I need to change the disclaimer? Hey, don't take it fucking seriously. It's pro wrestling and a podcast. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's all the work, kids. All the work. Uh, Mad Mike, I walked into a room. Yeah. To, I, went, I, I walked into a room tonight. Uh, and the first two people I talked to were filmmakers, and I uh, once again caught up with m- the Juggalo lawyer. It's been a good night outside of wrestling. It's been an okay night around wrestling. And, Mad Mike, it's been an amazing night hanging out with you and our friends out here in the Facebook Live. Sorg, I'm just getting ready for the end game. <laughs> no, we're not starting that one to- now, okay? End game, end game, end game. We'll get I'm that. bringing my gauntlet to the theater. Uh, uh, of course you should. I mean, geez. Right? Yeah. What are you, an animal? Um, cool. We will have uh, Tuesday Night uh, Mayhem Show proper. I believe we're going to have uh, somebody new on the show that um, you guys don't know. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! You guys mostly don't know. It's going to be Abby the Witch. I don't want to confirm. Our life on house. Uh, but also his buddy. Well, basically there was two guys I know uh, in and out of wrestling that know each other. Um, and we figured this out on Twitter like a few weeks ago. And I'm like, you guys should come on the show. Let you know, you got a vibe. Let's let's do this. Uh, but Farnsworth is one of those, and you guys know him from being on before commentator with the International Wrestling Cartel, and uh, also uh, assisted us with uh, WrestleRex as well. Uh, so, and I think he was on Lucha Fiesta as well. Uh, so uh, that's gonna be a fun night tomorrow night. I'm sure there'll be more games of th- Games of Thrones, Game of Thrones references, mm-hmm. and of course this. Wednesday, we will have Holly, Hollywood Couture, Katie Arquette, uh, Calvin Couture, and I, I, I have to remember if I'm saying his name right. Uh, and, and, of course, the man dime, uh, Elijah Dean, uh, will be joining us. Uh, so, uh, Elijah, one of those new rec- new guys that, that started up back in, like, October and uh, already has a world title shot in IWC. Doing really wow. great things. Yeah, no, all of those. And, of course, Katie had her uh, uh, thing with uh, in November – with uh, David Arquette when she won the title from Bit Baker back, and a lot, a lot has happened with this crew. I don't think we've talked to, talked to Katie since she was on right after the cage match with Lufisto more about a year and a half ago. So, yeah. So, uh, so we definitely have a lot to catch up with her, 
and see if she's still traumatized from that night at the scare house. Uh, <laughs> did you see that video? <laughs> it's out there. Look up hashtag wrestle scare. Mad Mike four eight eight three on the tweets. Uh, YouTube.com slash poppy. No, we're not having David Arquette on the, okay. on the Indie Mayhem show. I want to make that clear. His schedule yeah. did not cl- I don't know. Maybe they haven't told me and he's showing up. Who knows these days? If that's the case, we should sort have Ready to Rumble on your person just in case. I own a copy of Ready to Rumble. Who the fuck do you know? I own two. No, I'm kidding. Send me I, one. I own one, but I was, to, I was ready to send Bobby uh, copies of the Mortal Kombat movies because he wanted a pregame. Um, the, the no, uh, Sorg, Sorg, his name is now Robert. Robert? Robert FJ10. Robert FJ Rude? No, Robert FJ10. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. At Sorgatron on the Twitter, please check out everything online, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and everything going on. Check out Indie Wrestling over at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, brand new, just posted today, is uh, Night of Superstars 8, including Sting, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, uh, MVP, who was awesome, by the way. Uh, as well as Hardcore Holly uh, in teams on there. Hey, Sorg, is a certain lone wolf on that? What? A lone is, a lo- is the lone wolf? What, who, Baron? Ah! And with that, I bid you adieu on Mayhem Playhouse. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, wrap it up. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait.